Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. And as you can see, this is that time of the month again. End of the month time. Purchases and donations for April. So I'll get the camera in the stand and we'll get stuck in. See what we got this month. Okay, here we go then. <coughs> here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm on with the coffee. We're in the shed. Uh -huh. I got this the other day. Just a bit of fun. It's one of them pullback rollers. But I was in the shop messing about and I think it's just really nice. Super cool. Yeah, I do. Oh, <laughs> there's. I have plenty of fun in this and in the shop. I'll tell you. Yeah, what I plan doing this is uh, done like the blue. I'm going to paint it orange. And uh, if I don't paint it orange, I actually got it basically to take the take the noise system out, the sound system out of it, and put it into another car. But that's just a, a mess about project at some point. Quite nice, actually. About six quid this cost. Anyway, I'll diverse. Let's go. Right, we'll get the bits out that I, um, I purchased myself first, and then we've got a few donations near the end. Right, first up. I've got one of these, but this one came, came with a job lot of six. This is the old uh, NSUR 80 with the battery at the bottom. And note, Tony Hughes, it's got a screw in it, mate. Look, there you go, look. Yeah, and don't it look flipping ugly? But, nah, that's so we can get the battery in and out. The battery piece there is corroded, so we've got to replace that. Funny, this is, they take uh, these ones, I've noticed the dinky ones, battery ones, they take a triple, triple A, double A won't fit in, triple A will, will go in. Right, so that's this one. Yeah, it's fairly beat up, but it's got a good windscreen. Good glass. Yeah, I've got, I've got one of these to do. In fact, I've got two now. Yeah, the headlights come on and the tail lights come on. So that's that one. And then I got, uh, this was in there as well. And this is, uh, I picked this job lot of six, there was. One of the reasons, because it got this in it. I've already done one of these in this colour, but I want to do one for Chipperfields. Yeah. It's got a tailgate. It's got a sliding door. It's got good glass. Well, it's got a crack, actually, in that one. Um, complete chrome piece. Not a problem there. And the inside, it's got a bit of glue in it, but it's not as bad as the one I had before. But the other thing is, it's got the proper hologram. The, I don't think, it's not a hologram, is it? I don't, it's the moving dog anyway, opposed to the sticker. Now, my other one had the same one, moving dog. I, you can see it now. Look, I tend to, uh, if I see these with the moving dog, I'll get these. So there you go. Yeah. Okay. So that's that one. And in the six was another battery operated dinky. This Mercedes 260 SE. I've also done one of these. This is where the indicator back lights come on. Okay. But the one I did previous had one of those missing. So I had to make a new one, but this has got both in. And it's got the badge on the front, which is cool. Glass is a bit, I might be able to get that out. I'm not sure. We'll have to have a look at that. It's a bit scratched. Yeah, so this will be a different colour to the original because I've done an original colour. So that's nice. So again, it takes a, it takes a AAA. It's got the bulb in. Whether it's any good or not, I don't know. I've tested it. But it's not too badly corroded. just wants cleaning up in there. So that's three. What was the other one? Uh, oh, yeah. There you go. I've been after one of these for a while. Black Beauty, green on it. It's missing the radiator grill, unfortunately. 
and it wants a bit of work. But I think the boot opens. I think the man turns anyway. He's in there. I think the boot opens. There you go. Yeah, the boot opens. Uh, this is a little bit. Yeah, that needs work. The front needs work, and usually the suspension is shot there. That has gone. And that's gone. Back suspension is weak, but it's there. And you've got your man in there. So, got this one to do. That's uh, for what? And there was this in there as well. This is the later James Bond, it's not the gold one. But it's got the wheel things on it. There and there. It's got the seat in it, and it does work, but it's it seems to have got itself cocked to one side. I think it's probably bent in mechanisms bent inside. I'll sort that out. But I've got no roof. The glass. Yeah, I could do a new glass, but we'll see. But I know somebody who's got loads of spare parts for James Bond. 007 ones have no illusion. I might be giving you a call, buddy. See what you got. There you go, and you've got the back shield up. So that's that one. And the last one, this will interest Don Hackett from Australia, DMC member. There you go, Don, that's his more one I got. With the Pafé News stickers on the side, just missing the cameraman on the top. It's got the tailgate. It's quite a nice one, it's actually it's got the tailgate. And it's got the... Uh, Moving up and down back seat, as you can see it in the just see there, like moving up and down. Okay, and it's got the uh, headlights all in there, not too bad a condition. And it's also got the, this takes the hollow tyres, this one, same as the Zephyr police car. And I've done these before, I think I've got a set of these hollow tyres somewhere. Yeah, so that's that one to do. Yeah, so that's the six I got at the job lot, which is quite nice. Okay, hold on. A swig of the old coffee. Um, then I had a little rummage round. These I got a couple of spot ons. This is the spot on Jaguar 3.4 litre, 140 second scale. Looks like somebody's had a pop at this. There you go. There and there. It's got a flat on the back there. But other than that, it's been overpainted at some point. Glass is good. Roof's not bent. It could do with just a slight tapping out, I think. Just on the top there. Just a little bit there. But yeah, it's like a metallic blue with a black roof. I don't know why I didn't bring the, the, the black. Should have gone right down to there, really, I would have thought. Rather than stuck up there. It looks like that's hand painted. It looks like it's been painted over. But anyway, yeah, that's the spot on. Nice one, should look nice. And the other spot on that I got was this one. I like this one, very nice. This is the uh, silver, silver Wraith. Spot on silver Wraith. It's got all the tyres on it. paint severely worn off this it's got some sort of like gunk like looks like plasticine or something around it windows i don't know why they did that but yeah it's like like some sort of putty or something around there i don't know what i'm trying to do with that maybe they're going to paint it and mask it with with putty i don't know but anyway yeah i'm not sure what sort of color this is it's like a green two-tone it's got a greeny color on top and then silver at the sides i'm not sure it needs a new emblem on the front, but apart from that, it's okay. Yeah, so that's a spot on silver wraith. And this one hasn't got the scale written on it. There you go, obviously some did and some didn't. Some are made in uh, Wales and some were made in Ireland. I can't see what that one says on that one. It's a bit... Uh, distant but when we get to strip it down we'll have a look to see what it says on there 
So that's them. And then what else did I get? Oh yeah. Another one I was looking for for a while, this little mini. This is the Corgi Toys Mini, this one. BMC Mini Cooper, a Cooper S. Got a headlight missing. But it's got the sunroof, this is what I liked about this. It's got the little funky sunroof. I thought that was pretty good there, I like that. Doors opening. Got both seats in. Steering wheels in. It's filthy in there. Boot opens as well. It's another little feature I like. Yeah. In there. And the bonnet opens. In there. Right. Yeah, it's got the, I think the, yeah, the front bumper's complete. The back bumper. Yeah, it needs, this back bumper, It it's there, but it looks, if, if it's worn down, you can see there, it's like along there and along there, it's worn down. So I'm going to try and build that up with the old super duper and braking powder or something. Build it up. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's that one then. I think it's like a metallic green, this. Doors a bit up. So, yep, yeah, we've got that one to do. I think the wheel arches are all... Ah, yeah, now there's... We've got to repair the wheel arch there as well. That wheel arch is broken there. Should be complete like that. Well, we can do that. We can do that. So that's that one I've got. And I've got another James Bond one here. This is... I've been getting one or two of these. I'm trying to make that side suspension seems to be all right. That and the back's okay, that side. This one's okay. That back side, just the back side. Shame that, that back side's gone. It's very crusty, and I'm talking crusty. The base looks like it's coming away from the body there. But it's got a roof. It's got the corner on the window still there but I don't really know if he, the ejector seat might actually work it's got some spring to it so it's just that lever's about something's come adrift there so we'll have a look at that one but I don't know this body might be shot corroded real hard but then that's stuck in there there are because you look here, it's really bad around here. And this post. But we can do it. We can do it. So I better put that down. Because if I don't put it down, I'm going to snap it off. And I'll... I'm liable to snap that off. What I like to do with these is just put a little bit of... A little bit of insulation tape on there. Just to save further damage. Just to save further damage. I'll hold that on there then, like that. I like to break the bloody thing. Right, that's that. Carrying on, moving on. And then I got another Aston. I like this one. The Aston Martin. This is the, uh, just says Aston Martin at the bottom, Dinky Toys. These are prone to the bumper braking. They have there. Windscreen's okay. Side screens are okay. And I think, yeah, the door cards are missing. But I've got, I think I've got another one of these somewhere which is in really bad condition, but I think it's got a door card in it. It's got the dashboard, as you can see. It's like a printed sticker. Steering wheel, seats are still there. It's got the wires on it, which are in good condition. Back bumper's all there. Yeah, so we've got this one to do. Another one. And then the, the last of the big ones, well, for the minute anyway, what I bought, I, this one. I really, really like this one. This is a Scammel. This is a uh, budgie, budgie toys. And it's not a small one. This is really nice, this. Comes apart. 
Yeah, I got this. Three wheeler, it's got the tyres on it. I think this comes off. Or does it? No, it don't. Well, it probably will if I tugged it hard enough. I'm not sure if there was a tailgate on there, on a, on a, a thing on there. I don't think there was. But it's got the labels and stickers on it. I know some people wouldn't touch this and say, I'll leave it as original. But I'm going to do it and I'll put some more stickers on it of some sort. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. I'm not anybody knows about budgie toys. I don't know whether or not this is correct or not. It's got a quite these tires on the front are smaller than those on the on the trailer. So whether they're supposed to be all the same size, I'm not sure. Maybe Paul James will be able to tell me. He's a bit of a oh, he knows a lot about these things. Or somebody else, whoever. So that's those. And then I went to whilst I was away. I went on the car boot sale and uh, I bought a load of smalls. Now, funny thing is, I went to one stall, as you know, these days, I went to one stall and uh, the guy there, I'm sure his name was Dick Turpin, he um, he was charging, I asked him how much they were, because there was no price on him, and he, he said, which one do you want, mate? And I was showing him. Oh, he said, that's this, that, and that's £2.50, that's three. I thought, now, nah, mate. Nah, go rob somebody else. So I moved on down the line and a bit further around the corner there was some more and I got them for the for the decent price this time. So I got this one. I think this is a uh, Matchbox. I'm not... I don't know, it's, yeah, I don't know what, I can't remember what it is. It's Matchbox something or other. Uh, it's Bar Evelyn Barford. It's missing the steering wheel and stuff. But yeah, generally all there. That's quite a nice one to do. We got that one. I uh, got this little scaffolding truck. It's got all the wheels on it. Windscreen's in good condition. It's all there. Mercedes. So we got that one. Oh, check that back in the box actually. Uh, we got a horse trailer. With the door on it. Super fast one, this one. Pony trailer. Number 43. Glass is cracked on top. Yeah, we've got that one. Got the matchbox at ambulance. There you go. Just got the one door. On it, so I'm getting to the door for it. It's got all the wheels on it, the axles. That's cool. Got the evening standard, evening news number 42, I think it is. Grey solid tyres on it. Just need to get the bit across the top. That one. Uh, a little hovering them. I've got um, the bigger version of this, but this was kicking them out, so I thought I'd get this one, a little one, like that. All works. Yeah, here we go. I think number 17. Got all the axles in place. That one's, I think, a little bit. One of these is going up with the. Up there, I think it's that one. He's adjusting. Yeah, so that's nice. Got that one. Got a tractor trailer thing. Just a trailer. This is Matchbox number 51 or something. I think this has yellow barrels in this, if I remember rightly. I've seen a couple of people do these. So that's that one. Then the right home about there. I got an early bulldozer. This is an early one, Caterpillar. Number number three, I think it is, I can see in there. Number three, maybe, yeah. If you can see that, I'll let you focus now. Number three. Yeah. Got a bit of bendage going on. So that should be a nice little one to do. 
Uh, we got this one. It's an early, I think this is a yesteryear's one, I think. An early yesteryear's bus, like this. I think, I'm not sure. It's, I know it says Matchbox, but that's all it says on there. Number two. So there you go, it's got the uh, metal wheels on it. Quite nice. Very nice. It's got the driver, he's in blue. I know they did another version of a driver as well. So there we go, that's this one. That's that one. And we've got a super fast crane, the red and the gold with the hook. I think the hook's been stretched, but yeah. And there's an axle missing on this one. So, and it needs a bit of work, this one, I think. Yeah. I know what we call this one. It just says Malaysia product, made in England, super fast. Super fast. Mobile uh, wheel, wheel crane, eight wheel crane. Number 30. Yeah, so that's that one. We've got another little crane. It's a tiny little thing, this one. Made in England again. Crane truck. Can't even pronounce that. Dutz. This is number... Can't read it. Somebody will probably know what it is. Number 30 or something. Number Can't read it very well from there. It's all obliterated. But yeah, this is nice. Needs a new hook. Obviously. But yeah. This would be a nice little thing when it's done. Got all the axles and wheels. And we got this uh, little green thing here. Fiat 1500. Number 56. Tow hook, it's missing its whatever it is on there. Got the windscreen, that grill will look nice, detailed up. Glass seems to be all right, all the way around. Yeah, so we got that one. Plastic, is that metal? Plastic base, that one. And I've got a little dump truck, Lucid. Got serious trouble with that tyre, that's shot. Axle's bent, but yeah. Cab's a bit, it's all a bit on the skew if in it. So we've got that one to look at. And the last of the smalls I got off that boot sale guy was this one. It's the Ford, it goes with a transporter. This is a Husky. Husky, the pre-runners to Corgi Juniors. Ford D series. Let's just find a back end for it now. But yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. So that's the smalls. That's the smalls, and this is the stuff that I bought. And I bought a. Um, well, what have I done with them? What have I done with them? All right, hang on a second. Just wait one. Wait one. Here we go. Sorry about that, chaps. Yeah, I bought some um, off eBay. I bought some barrels. These white metal barrels. I showed these to the uh, DMC members because I, I'd obviously I've had these for a while, um, but they're all in this month's purchases. But yeah, look at the detail. I've got the planking on the front there. I think I paid six quid for these. I think there's six of them, about a pound each. But these are going to go on a, um, I've got a Dinky Super Tours, Toys Fodden. I'm going to put these on. Do you, you know the chained one, the chained Fodden? I'm going to put these on that. So that's that. Uh, that's all the purchases. So I'm just going to quickly go through, I'm just going to go through the donations. The first one is from a um, friend of mine, friend of the channel, Ian Howell. He sent me this. Citroen box. I haven't got the Citroen yet, but I will get one to put in it. Yeah. But that came... He sent me a Scout car. Nice one, with the driver. Which is nice. Got the tyres on it, good axles. Dinky toys, 673. 
scout car. He sent me that one. That was actually in the box. And he sent me some of this for my um, Corgi crane shovel. You've probably seen it. It, got, it. You can get it as a gift set on the back of the uh, Bedford low loader. And you can also buy it separate. It's orange and yellow bottom to it. One of the P2 people have got those. Um, so he sent me the cord to help it wind up and down. So thank you, Ian, for that. Appreciate it, my friend, as always. Put that in there, put that back in the box. Oops, sorry, I'm knocking the camera out because I've got a box one side and I've got all the loose stuff the other side. And then uh, another friend of the channel, Ralph, Ralph Cooling. He uh, he saw my saw last month. I saw me do have the Bedford the the yeah is it the Ford is it Ford, Ford Road Sweeper, and it was missing a front axle and wheels and the door, so he kindly sent me the uh, the door an axle and a pair of wheels, and he also sent the uh, the ram for the Hydra Crane, which I think is very kind of very generous. Thank you very much, Ralph. And I was late replying for me. I don't know what happened there. I must have had a senior moment. But thanks very much. Much appreciated. And they'll come in very handy. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ralph. And then uh, Brian Lowe. If I'll pronounce it right, so if I haven't, Brian. He sent me a box of goodies in here. So we've got the dinky. Coventry Climax, this one, needs a bit of work to it, I think it's been lifting a bit of an heavy load on there, I know um, Bill from Australia, he's done one of these just recently, finished it off, I've done one as well earlier on, a couple of years ago when I first started, and the string was a pain in the ass to get right, but I got it right, so we're going to do this one as well, it's missing the tire at the back, missing the string, missing the steering wheel and the driver, but apart from that, we're all right. Probably do a different colour to the original because I've got an original one in its colour. So let's do this in different colour. So that's it. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much, my friend. And uh, he also sent this bad boy. Look at this. This is a biggie. Look at that. It's very similar to this one, isn't it? That's a small version. This is a monster version, this thing. Uh, this is a Dinky Toys. Michigan... Rotator Dozer. Rotator Dozer. It's a biggie. Got all the tyres on. We can detail that engine up nicely, can't we? It's got a steering wheel. I don't know if it's got a draw. I think there's supposed to be a couple of exhaust stacks in here or something. I'll just check up with the original anyway. Oh, yeah, look at that. cool. I didn't know it's that before. Look, the steering wheel operates the back wheels. Oh, well, that's a bonus. I didn't realise that. So we can do something with that. It goes up there. And also the front there as well. So there's a couple of pulleys to play with and rams. Yeah, very nice. Thank you again, Brian. Number 976. There you go, Tony. Some more screws for you, mate. Look, you bet you're laughing all the way to the bank, mate. It's an ongoing thing. Screws and rivets. I'll not get into it on here because we don't want to cause a tripping round. Right. This is still from Brian. He sent me this little... Is it Whiz Wheels? Yeah, Corgi Juniors, Whiz Wheels, Mercedes-Benz 250SL. Nice little thing. Look at that. Good window. Opening doors. There you go. This is my wife's favourite car, actually. She likes these... Yeah, the wheels. Yeah, they're okay. Yeah, they're all there. Very nice. So that's that one. I'm going with the smalls. Oh, that, yeah, tell a lie. No, there's something missing. Yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, this is, there's a cab for this. Sorry. As well. I just looked at it. I see it in the box. I thought, yeah, it goes on there somehow. There you go. There's a cab for it, yeah. Okay. You'll like this one. Crap old Nick, he likes those sort of things. There's that one. And then this one. 
And he sent this one. This is from this is a um Daimler Chrysler Corporation. Chrysler 300 E 1959. Obviously it's a circuit of 2000 made in China. Now I can't make out the the make a name on it, it's a weird, but I don't know if you lot can see that make a name on it. But yeah. Solid tyres. It's a metallic red, but I don't know, it looks like somebody, it's either got itself all dulled off. Because if you look at the windscreen, it's all gone cloudy. And all this front end here is all cloudy. Now whether it's, it might just be grease. It might be somewhere where there's near, I don't know, somewhere it's got grease on it. But it look, it's very, very rough there and on the boot. But yet on the side, just there, it's okay. But it is badly scuffed paint-wise. Um, so, yeah, they're definitely going to do this one. God, look at the little writing on there, Chrysler. Look at that. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that. I'll have a go at it, anyway. Right, and then last but not least, the one that he originally was going to send me was the old uh, Gorgie's Jaguar XJS, The Saint. Yeah, you see, look, at he's got that right. Look, St. Martin. Yeah, look at that. Look, St. Martin. Eh? <laughs> he did. I bet you didn't twig on that, Brian, did you? St. Martin. <laughs> yeah, got the doors opening and closing. Got the seats in it. Got the wheels in fairly good condition. Uh, headlight bits are missing. Bumper's a bit chewed up. And I think there's a big, yeah, there's a big chunk out of the back bumper. Sorry, a big chunk out of the back bumper gone. But there you go. There you go. Right. Well, that concludes this month's purchases and donations. I'd just like to thank everybody who's donated. Thank you very much. It's really appreciated. And they all will get done. I might have to do it till I'm 100, but I'll get them all done. Uh, it's always nice to have choices. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And... Your comments in the past have been fun to read and to answer to. Thank you very much for all new people who, who've uh, jumped on board. It's very much appreciated. Yeah, so we'll get packed away. I'm going to finish my coffee. And then I'm going to be uploading a video at the same time. So bye for now. See you next week.